Okay, so Justin Pearson got sworn in as a lawmaker in Tennessee House of Representatives on the state level. And he got all kinds of backlash because he wore an African dashiki for his swearing in ceremony. And there were many in the Tennessee state representative that objected to him wearing this dashiki. So he said he's going to wear it again, you know, and they're saying that, you know, he should have the proper suit and tie, but technically they did admit they did not have any written policy on dressing. And it's really up to the discretion of the House Speaker on what you wear. I'm going to go ahead and play this video and I'll be back with my commentary. Or not dress to legislate. Newly elected State Representative Justin J. Pearson called out by his fellow lawmakers for his apparel in the Tennessee House. He, showed, he chose to wear a dashiki and onto the House floor, and it's now sparking a debate about what is considered professional attire. Our Kelly Cook explains how the Speaker of the House is using a late, well-known Memphis legislator to make their case. Kelly, for what is appropriate and what's not. Yeah, Jill and Joy, dashikis are popular in the African-American community. It's a tunic worn formally and informally that has origins in West Africa. Well, Thursday, a Memphis lawmaker opted to wear one, and it turned into a debate on the House floor and social media about decorum. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Thursday was the first day on the job for new Tennessee State Representative Justin Pearson. And just like the first day of school, he was very intentional about his attire. Wearing this dashiki on the first day and being sworn in wearing it uh, is paying homage to the ancestors who made this opportunity possible. During the day's opening remarks, Representative David Hawk of Greene County got up on the House floor to speak. I want to talk about the history of, of Lois D. Berry. The late Lois D. Berry was a well-respected longtime member of the state house, a Democrat and first woman in African-American to ascend to the position of Speaker Pro Tem. Hawk recalled years ago being reprimanded by D. Berry for not wearing a coat and tie in the assembly. We honor Lois's memory and in, in how we look and how we treat each other and how we give the respect that we hope to get back. I still, to this day, I keep an extra tie in my drawer. It's time for the rules to change. It's changing times. There are gonna be more people who are a part of the body that represent the plurality of our country. Pearson immediately took to social media Thursday, posting, a white supremacist has attacked my wearing of my daishiki. Resistance and subversion to the status quo ought to make some people uncomfortable. Tennessee House Republicans fired back, saying on Twitter that House decorum rules were unanimously approved and said, if you don't like the rules, perhaps you should explore a different career opportunity. That's main purpose is not creating them. We checked and found there is no written rule for what can be worn on the House floor. However, in the permanent rules of order decorum, it is within the Speaker's purview. There is a precedent of wearing a suit and tie but it doesn't mean it can't be changed. I told you, Kelly, I've been wearing suits since I was eight years old. There's not a problem with wearing suits. There is a problem with upholding systems that tell people what is wrong and what is right based on what is considered normal. And in this status quo, what is normal is what is white. Now, Speaker of the House Cameron Sexton did send us this statement saying, in part, men must wear a coat and tie if they wish to be recognized or on the House floor. Ms. D. Berry would frequently address members violating this precedent and remind them of the requirement. The Speaker will continue to follow the precedent and the path established by Ms. D. Berry. As for Representative Pearson, he says he will continue, he says, to celebrate his culture and ancestry in the State House. To be continued. In studio tonight, Kelly Cook, Action News 5. I don't know, y'all. Do you think he should continue to wear his big afro and dashiki? I'm sure. I'm sure both of them things are making them folks a little uncomfortable. So, as you heard in the video, 
Black Tennessee state rep responds to backlash over wearing African dashiki to swearing in ceremony. So this is his first term in the Tennessee House. Justin Pearson says he was trying to honor his ancestors for helping him raise to elected office when he wore his dashiki on the floor of the house. <laughs> he wore it on the floor. <laughs> Woo, you know how uncomfortable these people were. <laughs> The freshman lawmaker says he was surprised to hear another member, David Hawk, criticize him for his attire. Pearson says his colleagues uh, scolded him for not adhering to the traditional where male lawmakers wear suits and ties on the House floor. In his floor speech, according to the House Speaker, Hawk referred to the late Rep. Lois DeBerry, who was the speaker. Um, so she pretty much set the tone for men to always have on a suit and tie. And she chastised um, uh, somebody that was in the chamber and they were not dressed what she considered appropriately. So after the swearing in, he took to Twitter to denounce his colleagues' criticism, saying, a white supremacist has attacked my wearing of my daishiki. And <laughs> Pearson added, he understands not conforming to the status quo ought to make some people uncomfortable. Trust me, they scared, they're scared you're going to show up again in a daishiki. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. He done got too black for them people already. And he just got there, y'all. So a spokesman for the Tennessee House Speaker, Cameron Saxton, told CNN in a statement, the speaker will continue to follow the president and the path established by Mr. Barry to honor her and her incredible legacy within our legislative body. Pearson said he will continue to wear his dashiki, <laughs> but will wear a coat and tie with it yeah but i thought a, a, the, his dashiki no well not unless he got another one it don't have a uh collar on it okay but this is what he's saying <laughs> he don't wear his dashiki with a coat and tie with it so he is recognized on the floor <laughs> and his constituents are represented this does not have anything to do with a dashiki. It's about who's wearing it. It's about us being here, Pearson told CNN, adding that he wants to make Tennessee more inclusive. It's not a problem of dress. It's a problem of principle that is wrong and lacks inclusivity. Well, this is what he said. Y'all, this is just too funny. But y'all, tell me what you think about this young, this young man showing up in his dashiki and he'd have made the whole House of Representative at the state level in Tennessee very uncomfortable with him. <laughs> Trust me, brother, they already making you an enemy. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.